Alright guys, it's Bradley. We are in my kind of, I guess my beer room, fermentation room. Um, this is the beer I brewed the other day. Started it a little warm. Now we're cooling down to like 64 degrees for the bulk of the fermentation. And uh, yeah, this is my first experience with the SS Brewtech uh, Spunden Valve. And you know, it was very expensive to be honest in my opinion, but it works really well. Um, I have, uh, I've used like a Fermentosaurus and a Fermvilla, Fermzilla, and um, used various other spunding valves and made my own, I bought one, and this one is better. It's a lot more money, but it's better. Super easy to dial in. It's convenient, you know, with the, um, you're able to see the bubbles in the star sand. So you kind of really good idea of what you're doing pressure wise. So yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with it so far. First time using it, maybe my opinion will change. Also, I got a got the sample coil. Um, the one from SS Brewtech is like a hundred bucks. I got this one on uh, AliExpress delivered. It took like you know three weeks to get here. I think it was thirty dollars. It seems to fit and work just fine so uh, you know consider that if you guys are going this route also uh, I got rid of the uh, threaded ball valve and went to this uh, butterfly valve I got on Amazon for uh, like 20 bucks well worth it easier to clean uh, I don't really want any threads on this if I don't have to have them so that's just a real quick video uh, hopefully my DIY glycol chiller isn't uh, too noisy. Sorry, that blue is really obtrusive there in the camera. And we're just under uh, 10 PSI there. If anyone wants to see my uh, glycol setup, I'll go over what I did myself or you know the one I made myself. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. As always, remember, this is Bradley. Home brewing is good. Thanks again.